Hi there! So today we are going to be having a August Fairy Loot unboxing video. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Like I said, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the August Fairy Loot. It finally came in the mail and I'm super excited because this is my first Fairy Loot. Box. I don't remember if there was a theme, but nevertheless, I'm excited. I know something made me finally decide to get it. So here I have, I have it, the August box. I technically did get it before September started and before I got charged for another box. So I guess I can be happy with that and I guess I can continue my subscription. I know they had a problem getting one of the items in here and basically that's what made it late this month. So. Let's, without further ado, let's start opening. Let's see. It's kind of heavy. Okay. So here's the inside of the box. Here, got the postcard and a lot of words. I don't know what they all say. So the inside of the box, if you didn't know, it says fairy tales are more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can't be beaten. Quote by G.K. Chester Chesterton and in Gaiman. So here is this week, this month's card. So this month's theme was Other Worlds and is the spoiler card. So I'm gonna read it first and then we're gonna go through all the items. That way I know what the items are when I pull them out. So the first item you'll see here is an exclusive Witch Soul candle from Book and Nook. These candles are themed around our otherworldly book of the month and we worked with the author to create the scent combinations. They are based on different characters. We sent out five different witch souls. Which one did you receive? Um, the next thing is, do fictional worlds fuel your dream? They, feel, they fuel ours too. That's why we thought it would be great to include this exclusive fictional world sleeping mask made from satin and brought to you by Fairy Loot. Now you'll never be disturbed by the light when you sleep. The next item you'll find is this exclusive handmade Valaris pendant necklace brought to you by O oh Panda Eyes. These, this features a quote from A Court of Mist and Fury, yes I love this book, by Sarah J Maas and refers to the magical city of starlight, Valaris aka one of our favorite otherworldly places. The exclusive Westeros tea strainer brought to you by Fairy Load is sure to make your tea drinking experience otherworldly. This tea strainer is inspired by Westeros and Game of Thrones and is the perfect little strainer to brew your loose leaf tea. Another two things that I love, tea and Game of Thrones. Fans of Peter Pan can rejoice. We have included an exclusive Neverland notebook that was hand painted for you by TJ Lubrano. It's got such cute detailing on it and it's the perfect size to fit in your bag and write notes in. Middle Earth is one of our favorite fantasy worlds, so we had to include an item to represent it in this box. The exclusive Lord of the Rings magnetic bookmarks. Oh my god, I love Lord of the Rings. Like, if that is, if there's a movie I can watch over and over again, it is Lord of the Rings extended editions. Extended editions. Like, I can sit there and watch those. Are brought to you by Paperly Co. We sent out Legolas and Thranduil to represent Mirkwood. Samwise and Frodo to represent the Shire, and we sent out Aragorn and Arwen to represent Gondor. This month we've included a stunning art print by Melissa Nettleship. The exclusive Northern Light print feels so magical and will look great framed. Our book of the month is a dark gem of a book that has witches, fiery females, romance, and more. I'm not going to read the rest of that. We're going to get to that when we get there. but. There are also some bonus items, some God's, a God's Grave sampler, Black Wing sampler, mini backdrop discount, coupon. So, now that I've fangirled almost over everything in this already, I'm excited to dive into this. So, the first one, as we were told, was the Book and Nook Witch Soul Candle. 
this one is Azarine. So, um, but this is this one smells like lemon, verbena, vanilla, and pear. Now, vanilla is not always my. Oh my god, it's one. Okay, one. I didn't even mention how much I internally fangirled on the fact that this candle is purple, which is my favorite color. And you just saw my reaction on it. There's purple glitter in here. Oh my god. Ooh, it's not too vanilla y because I'm not a vanilla person. So it's not too vanilla y. You can sell the lemon verbena and the pear the most, but this is gorgeous. So, next up was the Westeros tea strainer, and there's my dog. Come here, sit down. Come on, sit on down. Sit down. There. There we go. Good boy. Yeah. So next up is the Westeros Tea Strainer. It says, a mind needs books as a sword needs a needs a whetstone if it's to keep its edge. Which we all know that Tyrion Lannister said to Jon Snow. Barrett, come on, lay down. As you can see, I've got I've got a helper today. He's not a very good helper. So we've got a tea strainer. Let's open it up. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's a sword. Barrett, this is not for you. Sit down. Right here. There. Right there. Right there. Good boy. <laughs> it's a sword and it's so cute. I can't wait. Okay, I've got an old teacup right here. And so, I mean, this teacup is huge, so, but it's really cute. Oh, the next item was the Valaris pendant necklace. And it's in this adorable bag. Adorable jewelry bag. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, it's knotted pretty good. There we go. Of course, I love a quart of Mist and Fury more than I like a quart of Thorns and Roses. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. But I, and it says in there, but I said, where are we going? Reese widened into a, of course it's a smile or a grin, to Valaris, the city of starlight. That's what it says in there. So Sarah J Moss is coming to Atlanta on Wednesday. So I'm really excited. So of course I'm gonna fangirl and I'm gonna wear this because that's just my life right now. Thanks. So on top of the other purple confetti, we have got the tattoo, the black wing. Um, we've got, I don't know what this is for. I don't know what this is for yet. Oh, we've got the sleeping mask. Fictional worlds fuel my dreams. I might bring this to work if I get deployed to Houston. So I might bring this to work. And here are the wonderful, I've been wanting some of these for my books because I always lose actual bookmarks. I always fall out of my books. So I've been wanting some of these magnetic ones. So I'm really excited. And I've got Frodo and Sam. Oh, so, okay, so these mini backdrop coupons. Okay, I understand now. It is a place called Mini Backdrops, and basically, they are backdrops for your Bookstagram photos. I'm understanding now. So you can put them under your books and stuff, and they just help to create a better background if that's what you want. If you don't like your background at home, I like my bed. It's pretty. Sometimes. So, here is the God's Grave Sampler. Here is the God's Grave Sampler. Okay, thank you, Bear. It is by New York Times bestseller Jay Kristoff. And, and so it's, it's also got a poster inside. This is the Black Wing Sampler by Ed McDonald. I don't know anything about these books, so I have nothing to tell you other than I will read them and then I'll know more about the books. This is our exclusive <laughs> Neverland Notebook. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Can you see that artwork? I hope you can see that artwork. I know sometimes my autofocus doesn't like me. So I hope you can see that artwork. It's beautiful. Of course, I will post pictures on my Instagram page. So you'll have to check that out too. And it's, ooh, it's unlined. I love unlined notebooks. I rarely use lined. I never used lined paper in college to write notes on either. So, and I love Peter Pan. If I could never grow up, I would. Here is the artwork. Here is the artwork. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. 
an art print by Melissa Nettleship, the exclusive Northern Lights print. It's beautiful. I've actually seen the Northern Lights a long time ago, and they are gorgeous. So this is beautiful. And finally, the main event. Ooh, I like this bag it comes in instead of plastic. That's so nifty. It says, happy reading. Like I said, this is my first box, so I'm sorry. I'm fangirling a lot right now, especially because now I remember why I chose, finally chose to get it, was mainly because of Lord of the Rings. You got me with Lord of the Rings, okay? So, comes in this beautiful bag. So now on to the book that I didn't mention before. So before I look at the book, it says, Dear Gorgeous Fairy Loot Reader, When I started writing Wicked Like a Wildfire, I knew that beauty would be at the heart of the story. As a gift for a burden, a tool, or a curse, all of its aspects would be explored by the twins, Iris and Melina, who are just lovely but also adept at magically manipulating beauty in unusual ways. But beauty is a dangerous thing. It can isolate as well as elevate, and sometimes beauty even flirts with death. Portraying the darker side of beauty was so important to me that there's two clues to, to the origin of the twin's curse, hidden within the element of the book's cover, and two in this letter. Can you spot them? If not, dive in to discover the ways that beauty seduces even the most fearsome forces, and to find out which character's soul scent candle you have in your hand. So that's where the candle, okay, so the candle is for this month's book. I don't have to go looking for it. I have it. Sorry, my dog is just trying to be in the way today, but he just wants to be a part of it. So make sure to say hi to Barrett. So, this month's book, oh, this cover is gorgeous and it's a dark purple, so I'm in love. It is Wicked Like Wildfire by Lana Popovic. So, it is beautiful and I'm excited. This, I'm gonna have to pay attention to the cover and figure out these clues and this message to try and really figure it out. Um, it's, it's a bit, it's hefty, it's hefty. So this will take me a little bit to read. It's like 400 pages. It'll take me a little bit to read, but this cover, this cover is gorgeous. So I'm excited. I really need to get some bookshelves. I don't own any, so I really need to get some because my apartment is starting to over blow and my boyfriend doesn't like that. So <laughs> need some bookshelves, but before I am done with this fairy loot box, of course we have the fairy scoop for Otherworld August 2017. And basically it tells you, you know, some stuff that they had an interview with the author, about the author, and it also gives you some options, some good books on what to read next. And for next month's theme, next month's theme, which has already been posted up on their Instagram, is all that sass. Um, so it says, do you love sassy characters? Of course. Um, characters that make you laugh out loud. Characters that are full of spirit and are cheeky, lively, and bold. The September All That Sass box is inspired by our favorite sassy characters in YA. You can expect items on a certain blue-eyed shadow hunter and the infernal devices, a certain high warlock in the mortal instruments, a blonde hair assassin in Throne of Glass, so another Sarah J. Maas book, and of course Cassandra Clare. Um, um, a green-eyed demigod in Percy ja Jackson. Um, you know, I never got into Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I always think about going back to read them, but I just feel like I've missed the boat on that. Barrett is loving the smell of his candle right now, and he's just trying to get to it. That's my issue. Um, and also a captain from the Grisha Trilogy. Another book that I need to complete, another series I need to complete as well as a couple more sassy characters. The book we're featuring is full of sassy characters, adventure, evil witches, ghosts, high stakes, and has some fantastic plot twists. We read this book in one sitting, it blew us away. It will come with a signed book plate and letter from the author, and the Fairyloot Edition will have exclusive foiling on the title of the cover. That's right, only the Fairyloot Edition will have this, the Standard Edition won't. For now, we're only gonna reveal one supplier, and that is, that is the wonderful In the Wick of Time. Every box will have a tin candle created by Kaylin exclusively for this box. What's more is people that purchase or subscribe to the, to the September All That Sass box will be the only people to, able to purchase a full-size version of this candle. It's a fairy loot exclusive. How awesome is that? Stay tuned for more exciting supplier reveals over the next couple of weeks on our social media platforms. So I'm really excited. I hope it comes out earlier because um, you know I'm in America and it's coming all the way from the UK. 
Um, so I'm hoping it comes out before the end of the month this time. But you know, I'm just excited that I have it. I'm lucky to have it. I'm lucky to be able to afford to have it, though I could barely afford to have it because it's expensive. This box is not cheap. It's like $51 American. So that's not cheap at all for all of this. I mean, granted, you get a book and a whole bunch of other stuff, so it's like it's worth it in the end, but you have to be willing to spend the money. And that's the thing with these subscription boxes. I know Barrett, it smells so good. And they smell good. Yeah? Yeah, it smells good. And so you have to be willing to pay for it. And I mean, we're lucky that we have all these wonderful people who create these items. Um, but it's still expensive. I still got bills and I'm still broke. And that automatic deduction from my bank account this morning was no joke. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. I'm excited to read this book. I mean, I'm excited to read a lot of books. I've got an ever-growing TBR list. Um, but that's it for this. Me and Barrett are gonna go, gonna go get some treats and some toys. Yeah, yeah. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that like button over there. And don't forget to follow me on all the social medias as well. And yeah, until next time, keep turning the pages.